So recently, um, <clears throat> uh, Chris Brown out from L.A., right? We're going to keep it in Cali. He's out from Cali. Is he from L.A.? Nah, he ain't from, he ain't oh, from, from Virginia. Virginia. Oh, he from where? <laughs> Virginia. He a mess for him. He oh, he from that. Virginia. Oh, ah, but he li- this guy. He, li- you know he lives in Cali, though. Let the Padres be the mess one time, and now this dude going to keep talking. You know? <laughs> All I'm saying is, hey, hey. Don't aye. worry about it. We'll so I don't know. Year. I don't know what sparked up this conversation of people coming at Chris Brown again, but Chris Brown had uh, responded to some criticism about his assault on um, Rihanna and just talking about how. You know, um, you know what brought it up was that 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 girl from Three L W. I think she brought it up. Oh, she Whatever retweeted we, something, right? Yeah, she brought it up and she mentioned his name, and then he responded to that, and then from that point, it kind of like like the domino effect behind that it went viral. Didn't he, didn't he didn't he kick off showing her some love though? I thought he showed Rihanna some love, like like saying congratulations or something like that to her. I mean, he, he did do that. He did, but um, the, the girl from um, Real W had mentioned something about him and about him beating, you know, bringing up that old stuff, and then like she must have been messy or something. Yeah, so he mm-hmm. he he flipped out like at that point because I think she tagged him too. So then when he saw it, at that point he just went off. He was like, "Yo, I got time today," and that dude dropped like. 30 different things back to back on his stories. He That's went out, crazy. he went at her too. Yeah, so he That's he crazy. he was basically saying, listen, when this situation happened, I was 17 years old. I'm 33 now. You know, I'm let's move past this already and he started calling out the hypocrisy of how people are entertained by you know, Blueface and, yeah. and and yeah. Christian yeah. Rock and he started bringing up some some actors. some actors who who have you know domestic. had domestic issues as well and you know he had a point at the end of the day so um what what did y'all feel about you know if y'all even know the situation what y'all yeah. felt about his comments i think i think i'm gonna say this i think i understand the point he was trying to make right i just don't feel like you throw nobody else dirt out there while you cleaning up cleaning up your name. That's like, what Blueface so, said. <laughs> yeah, so there's a For way. Sure. It, well, because out west we respect this. We respect. We there's a code to snitching, ratting, and underlying. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, selling your people uh, out, basically. Yeah, selling your people out, right? So like, like. A comment like that can draw a whole nother attention to to blue face and, and old girl situation, right? And I mean, I'm sure they go through therapy. I'm I'm sure they get the proper help that's needed, right? But it's not his place to 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 cast Bring a stone at them, mm-hmm. yeah. Because what you would do is you would end up making a problem another person problem, right? Making 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 your issue somebody else's real problems. You know what I mean? So like. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's it is good, but I understand. I understand uh, um, what he was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, but to be honest, though, I don't. I wouldn't. Me being Chris, I wouldn't rant and rave over it today because it did take place when you were seventeen. You in your thirties now. You got blackball. They they canceled you. And you was able to re- rebuild yourself on something way different, and you still doing crazy numbers, like mm-hmm. you, you, yeah. I mean, name another, name another star that was a kid and was able right. to transition from being a kid success to an adult success. It's like a comedian going from comedian to R and B singer. Jamie Foxx was the only one able to do it. You know what I mean? Right. So like right. I, I think what he's accomplished over time spoke volume to itself was what's been done. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't have responded to it. I would have just left it dead, honestly. Mm. That's a good point. Yeah, some some things don't gotta be responded to. And at the same time, at the time when he did do his um the uh domestic violence, that was a time where a lot of that stuff wasn't wasn't accepted in this time of era. It's a lot of things that's being glorified 
way more now than it was back then. That's why people not really, um, really throwing stones at, at Blueface and all of that because they trying to normalize these things in a public eye more so than back then it was done. It wasn't really tolerated. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he changing the whole blame to towards that, which is I understand. And it's like both times it wasn't right. And he was 17 at the same time. So his decision making was wasn't fully developed and Blueface was is way older at the same time of him doing whatever he's doing, what they got going on. You know, and everybody's situation is different too. So everybody is just outside looking in. I think right. just the, the the beginning was just kind of a little bit messy because that was what longer than 10 years ago. And you still holding this man against that, you know what I'm saying? Right. When it's right. things that have already took place, you know, he I'm pretty sure he went through his own healing and his own counseling, even did multiple apologies to Rihanna. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. But sometimes even when you just make one small mistake, people still hold that against you for as long as they want to, even if you ask for forgiveness and ask for these things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's and that's and just being a public figure. People just got to be mindful of their influence and in, in, in what they want, you know. And then at the same time, the people who watching these public figures, they human too. They not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 